Do things have to have oxygen in order to burn? Can we burn things without using any oxygen? Well, we can. Now, Chris has filled up this apparatus here with another gas, chlorine. Now, chlorine is very poisonous, so we've had to take precautions here to absorb any uh, chlorine that's coming out through the apparatus here. But I wanted to show a reaction now with no oxygen whatsoever. Now, in this balloon is another gas. It's a hydrocarbon called acetylene. And this burns. I should be able to set fire to this. OK, it burns. Very smoky flame here. OK, but I need to start this by putting it into the Bunsen flame to get it to burn. So this is acetylene or ethyne. So it's two carbon atoms and two hydrogen atoms in each molecule of this gas. Now, I'm going to put this into the chlorine. So there's no oxygen at all in this. I'm going to turn the tap any second and watch what happens. There we are. As soon as the gases mix, as soon as the acetylene comes into contact with the chlorine, we instantly get a reaction. It's burning, so there's no oxygen in this reaction. This reaction is just chlorine and acetylene. Can we have the lights up, please? So you can see all the carbon that's forming here because the reaction isn't really complete. So it's a very smoky reaction. But nonetheless, this is a reaction involving no oxygen at all. OK, if we wheel this one away, please, and we'll swap it. So that was a hydrocarbon spontaneously burning in chlorine. OK, no oxygen at all. We have another flask here, 